Ippen's words handed down by disciples. 1. Master Ippen once said, You must distinguish carefully between the two gateways of Dharma, the path of sages and the pure land way. The path of sages declares, Blind passion is itself enlightenment. Birth and death is nirvana. I might certainly have taught this Dharma gate also, but it is beyond people's capacities these days, for they would inevitably return once more to the fundamental attachment at the root of blind passions, and it would only be detrimental. In the pure land way, one casts away body and mind, and with not a single place one longs for in all the three realms and six paths, aspires for birth in the pure land. There must not be a single thing in this world that you hold indispensable. To part from birth and death while maintaining this existence here is out of the question. 2. Further, he said, the three minds taught in the sutras are the name. Thus, the words of the vow, quote, with sincere mind, joyfully entrusting themselves and aspiring to be born in my land, close quote, are paraphrased simply, say my name. Apart from saying the name, then, there are no three minds to be concerned with. 3. Further, he said, the term genuine mind means that to abandon the attachment to self in self-power and take refuge in Amida is the essence of a true, real, and sincere mind. For when Shantao states in interpreting genuine mind, quote, You harbor within all manner of greed, anger, perversity, deceit, wickedness, and cunning, close quote. He means that we are to reject and abandon sentient beings' consciousness of self. The three poisons, in terms of the three modes of action, bodily, verbal, and mental, are the blind passions that consciousness of self is possessed of. Deep mind is interpreted as realizing deeply and decidedly that you are in actuality a foolish being of karmic evil caught in birth and death. The essence of deep mind, then, lies in abandoning the self filled with blind passions and taking refuge in the primal vow. The primal vow is itself the name. These two, genuine mind and deep mind, thus signify the stance of abandoning both the body and the mind you possess as a sentient being, and taking refuge in the name that is other power. Concerning the mind directing merit toward birth in the pure land, at the moment the merit of the good acts performed while attached to the self in self-power practice and the good held in the name interfuse, becoming a single taste, the oneness of that taking refuge and that taken refuge in is realized, expressing itself as Namu Amida Butsu. Once this happens, the three minds, being abolished the moment they are established, become the sole and solitary Namu Amida Butsu. Thus, the three minds signify casting away body and mind and saying the Nambutsu. Nothing else is involved. The stance of discarding body and mind is itself Namu Amida Butsu. 4. Further, he often praised Kenshobo of Nagato, saying, He did well in formulating the teaching that the three minds are abolished. It was thus that he attained birth. 